Hello, I will show you a secret. Do you like secrets? I do. Let's show it. I will show you how to grip the cue with side spin. Last, uh, in the last video I showed how to grip the cue with, uh, when using draw and follow. So the draw is when pressing with the heel and the follow is when pressing with the front and the front fingers here. This is the follow grip. Top spin, draw, bottom spin. And now I'll show you side spin. So with the side spin it is a bit different. Uh, very different. In the, the last video I showed how to prevent the, the cue from getting pressed upwards and the downwards. So with the draw the, the butt of the cue, the end of the cue, wants to get pressed upwards, so you want to force it down. And with the top spin, the cue, the butt of the cue wants to come down like this, so you want to lift it up and use the grip for that. But with the side spin, it is diff different. You don't want to prevent the cue from uh, getting pressed to the side, because I have learned that it gives very inconsistent inconsistent spin so you want to keep you want to keep it relaxed here so it flexes naturally so it bends to the side very naturally and that gives a, a consistent uh, shot when using spin side spin so you want to keep uh, you want to have the hand so that it will flex naturally and then it will come back and that is when you want to stop the vibrations. So, so you do the opposite uh, than with the top spin and draw. So when you use uh, less spin on the cue ball, the, the cue wants to come there. It wants to flex, it wants to bend to the right here. The butt wants to go there when using less spin on the cue ball. I will show it. Okay, so now, now you use left spin here. When you use left spin, the cue, the butt of the cue, wants to go there. Okay, so you don't want to prevent it from going there because then you can feel in the hand that it it becomes uh, inconsistent. So what you want to do is you want to. Uh, uh, hold the cue with your with the left side of the hand like that and then so so the cue can naturally bend to the side so you don't want to prevent it from uh, bending to the side you don't want to do that because it becomes inconsistent with a different amount amount of pressure it bends a different uh, distance so uh, the cue ball control becomes worse. So want, you want to keep it natural, so you want to bend the cue, the butt of the cue will bend naturally to the side, the same distance every time. And then after, after, after it has bent to the side, it will vibrate back again. So when it comes back, that is when you want to stop the cue. So first, you shoot, you shoot with left spin, Q bends to the side and comes back. And this is when you want to stop the Q. So you want to hold, want to hold the Q with, with the, the left side of the hand, like that. So you, it bends and comes back and it stops here. That is, that is the grip you use for side spin. I will show it from the other side here. Okay, so with the left spin, the cue ball goes there and it will flex back and you press here with this side, with the left side of the, of the hand. 
and uh, this is how it looks like from uh, the front. You use left spin here, the Q bends to the side like this. This is how it looks like. Yeah, and then the Q vibrates back, and you want to press here with the left side of the hand when it comes back. So first, with left spin, the cue will bend and it will vibrate back to the hand and you want to hold it steady here. That is the most, most natural uh, grip for side spin. And that was for left spin. It is the opposite for right spin. And now I will show the right spin. Here you hit uh, with the right spin, the Q will bend to this side, like this, and then it will flex back, it will vibrate back, and this is how you want to grip the Q. You want to hold it uh, with your right side of the hand, so it will flex and it will come back, and you want to hold it here, so you use this kind of uh, grip for with right spin kind of like this you know you, you often see pros like Earl they hold the cue like this sometimes with the gripping having an inside grip that is for uh, right spin and with left spin you can tilt it up like this if you want to make an exaggerated example I will show it from the other side this is for the right spin, right spin, and the cue will bend like this, and you want to, uh, when it comes back, you want to hold steady, you use this, this pressure of the hand when the cue vibrates back, and you hold it steady like this. So it is like a bouncing ball. The ball bounces here, it comes back, and then it bounces up again, and comes back. So you want to hold it uh, steady like, a, like it's a wall, that, that uh, a ball can bounce against, like this. This is what you want to do. And this is where the right spin, right spin causes the cue to move away from the hand like this and it will bounce back it, there is a vibration that you can feel and this is uh, this is why this grip is so good because it gives a natural natural bounce of the cue and this is what the right spin for the left spin it is like this you hold it like this so the cue will bounce back and stay it, it is very natural if you try to force it like this, then it doesn't become good. It is inconsistent. So, with the right spin, you use the right part of the hand. And with left spin, you use the left part of the hand. So, if you want to make an exaggerated example, I will show. This is how I get most spin also. For some reason, uh, trying to prevent the cue from uh, flexing naturally will get less side spin. So when you do the opposite compared to the draw and follow, you get more spin and it is also the most natural way. Like a uh, ball bouncing against a floor. So that is a great way to put it. So now I will show you uh, with side spin. Now with the left spin, remember left spin, you use the left part of the hand and press, you press uh, with the left part of the hand like this. So this is the exaggerated example here. I don't press the uh, butt of the cue with the right part of my hand. It, it is very loose here. So this is how I would grip the cue with left spin. Okay. I need to use chalk. Chalk, I forgot. 
let's do it. Okay, so a very exaggerated grip here with the left, left part of the hand and left spin. Like that. That was the left spin. And now I use the right spin. With the right spin I use the right part of the, of the hand here. So this part is loose, the left part is loose. And I press with the right part of the hand. And that is, um, it helps to grip a uh, little with the uh, rear fingers also to keep uh, a steady firm grip that will prevent the cue from, that will keep, keep a wall here on the right side so it will flex like this and, and then it will stay here. So this is the point, the rear part is uh, the pressure point here for a right spin. Okay, I will do it, right spin. Okay. And you see this, the left side of the hand is very loose. I'll show it from the other side. No, I don't think you can see that. Maybe, maybe like this. Okay, so this is with the right spin, right spin. This the the entire left side. You see, it is there is nothing here. There is no wall here on the left side. There is only a wall on the right side of the butt, and that is this is the grip for right spin, right spin. Okay. Yeah, and now I'll show you the left spin. Left spin is like this. No wall here at all, so it will bounce back and forth naturally. And this is for the left spin, and you have the left wall. Left wall, okay. That's for the left spin. This area is loose. So when, when you see the pros shoot, you, you, you can't see the grip because it is secret. They have hidden this, the secret from you. So you can't see that, you can't see what they do. But they, they, they do this every shot. Uh, most of them don't know what they are doing. They just do it naturally. They, they were lucky in the beginning that they found uh, a grip and then they practiced and they, they do it subconsciously that they grip the cue in a certain way. So uh, when you use the uh, right spin, you keep this, the left side empty and with right spin you have the right wall here and left, left spin you have a left wall that is the best way to grip the cue. Now I will use the right wall, right spin. So this is the grip I want to use. Yeah, and you can just hold it here in the air, and you can you can feel the grip here. That the, you have a very firm, firmer wall on the right side of the cue for right spin, and for left spin. For left spin, you have this wall and you can practice like this by holding the cue in the air and then you can, fe you can feel that this is a very firm firm grip on the one side of the cue and nothing on the other side so this is the left for left spin you use the left wall here like this so it will cue will bend and come back and vibrate back and forth and it will, it will stop naturally. That is the idea of this uh, grip. Yeah. And then it becomes more complex when using, when combining it with the uh, top spin and draw. But I will do it in the next video. So make sure to subscribe and come back later and then I will teach you more. Goodbye.